guys, Ryan Irwin here with you with a special Sunday installment of Off the Rack. You know it's Sunday because I got my church clothes on. Um, so what I want to give you an update on is Friday I was benching um, and I'm about three weeks out from my meet and I had maxed out on bench. Um, I hit a uh, paused rep of 300 pounds. Um, I knew I would get it. Uh, it was a challenge, but something that was definitely doable. And then after that, I downloaded to 275 and was going to do uh, some doubles. And on my first set of that, as I was locking out my second rep, my left shoulder uh, made a really odd sound and kind of lost strength. And... Um, I'm not sure what happened there. Uh, I was able to rack it, um, but after that it got very um, uh, stiff and weak and I lost some mobility, some range of motion there. So I uh, took a lot of ibuprofen on Friday, which I didn't want to, but wanted to try to get on top of the inflammation, uh, iced it, um, and then Saturday, yesterday, uh, it was still pretty tender store uh, mobility is limited on it um, I can go in about every range of motion except for forward um, that's the one range of motion that I struggle with so um, good news is I was able to squat no problem I was able to externally rotate and that wasn't an issue uh, deadlifts I was able to deadlift and that wasn't an issue um, the obvious concern there is, is bench press so uh, I did today, I've done some mobility work on it, just really light range of motion stuff. Um, trying to let it rest, just kind of get some blood in there. I'm going to ice it after that. Uh, I was able to uh, bench press the bar, which is good. Obviously, I hope to do better than that. Um, I'm going to let it rest a couple more days and um, just give it a shot. Uh, I've got until the end of this week, until Saturday, to decide what I'm going to do. Um, you know, I'm hoping that there's no permanent damage. I'm hoping that what I did to it was I just dislocated it and a lot of the supporting tendons are just inflamed right now um, and nothing is torn or, or severely damaged. Um, one scenario is I go in, well, perfect scenario is that's all it is. It's a little tweak and, you know, by the end of the week I'm back to normal. Uh, the second scenario is I go into the meet and um, I just do a conservative token bench, um, something that's not going to injure me further but keeps me in the meet, and then really push it for squats and deadlifts. Um, and then the third option, obviously, is not compete So and just look to see what I need to do to rehab and get things healed up. So, you know, it's one of those things where it happens, um, could be a lot worse. Uh, you know, it could be a torn muscle. I know it's not a torn muscle. If anything, it's uh, I might have torn a, a tendon or, or done some ligament damage there. Um, but, uh, you know, if you do this sport or any sport long enough, you're going to have aches, pains, injuries. And uh, the key to longevity is just continue to work around them and uh, do what you can do and then just move forward. So I'll keep everybody posted. I just want to give you all an update. So... Uh, we'll see what this week brings. It will be uh, telling on uh, what's going to happen in the future. Um, certainly, this coming Saturday is the meet that Nutrisport and 22nd Street Barbell put on. So, I'll be very busy with that uh, next Saturday. I'm hoping to get an update to you all. Um, but if not, it might have to wait until after that. So, uh, thanks for checking in. We'll keep you posted.